so yeah this video is all about uh, CQRS okay so here what we are doing we are creating one command and sending that command inside the command gateway okay so uh, I already done some of the stuff here uh, which is familiar to you guys so I created one entity which is nothing but the employee uh, using entity annotation and these are the three attribute I already put uh, so ID is in UUID uh, name is in string and uh, float which is nothing but the year of experience why okay so next I created the repository which extend the JP repository where I put the primary key and the class name and third one is the employee controller which is nothing but the blank so I created the class and put two annotations so let me open presentation one more time so I, I can show what performance yeah what I'm going to cover in this video so basically I'm going to cover this part this selected part so here what we have we have employee command we have controller and command gateway so what I am doing I am creating the employee command first which is nothing but the create employee command controller which is nothing but the entry point and command gateway where we are sending the command okay so let's start implementation so first I am writing the controller so I am using post mapping to get a employee uh, yeah to get the employee so I am using the completable future now uh, why I am going to use the completable future uh, so basically when we are sending anything from the command gateway it is going to return the completable future okay so I will I will show you that part also okay here I am putting question mark because I'm not sure what I'm getting right now and here I'm going to uh, write the method name as a create employee so in request body I'm getting the employee right okay so now what I need I need to create a command right so as per this di diagram what we have uh, right now I'm just returning the null okay so as per this diagram what we have okay uh, now we have the controller okay we need to create the command employee command right so let me go here and create the command first so I'm creating the package called command and here I am going to create a employee command create employee command so this class is nothing but the pojo so what I am trying to do I am just copying all these three attribute and putting inside this command class okay so I am putting directly three of them okay so we need to use one more uh, miss yeah, we, uh, uh, we need to use a target aggregate identifier as an annotation here okay so what does that means let me write first okay so as it said it is going to identify the target for the specific aggregate so uh, our all uh, means most of the logic is written inside the aggregate okay so uh, for the aggregation purpose we have the separate class so to identify which kind of command it is we need to put this target uh, aggregate identifier annotation so yeah uh, again we need a getter setter getter setter right this should be required mm okay yeah that could be fine okay so yeah I put getter and setter and uh, default constructor is already there okay so this is way we are able to create the command now what we need to do we are able to get the employee here now we need to convert that employee into the command okay okay so I am just creating the command first
so this is how we are able to create the command so what we are getting data inside the employee and creating the command here okay so uh, now i need as per this diagram what we need we need a command gateway okay so which is provided by exon okay i am using add to add okay so this is how you are able to get the command gateway okay so we need to use this command gateway to send this command okay so uh, if i go inside the command gateway you see uh, this is the interface we need to use this method this method means send method we have the send method here we are going to use that so this is the method send method where you need to pass any kind of object this is command gateway okay and what it is going to return it is going to return comparable future okay so i'm just closing it we already write return type as a comparable future so i'm using command gateway dot send and i'm going to send the command from here so i miss one thing here so which is nothing but uh, the we are not getting this id from the front end or uh, from the postman uh, we are using the uuid so we have to generate it randomly so we have uuid dot random uuid which is nothing but the uh, id uh, for our command okay so why i am doing this here because if you see this command we have this id uh, where we have the aggregate identifier target aggregate identifier so you cannot put a uh, null here okay so if you are passing null from the front end so yeah it will it will uh, it will definitely throw the exception so so uh, to prevent uh, that exception we are doing this step. okay yeah thanks for watching